What's going on, guys? I'm Kelly Morris Complex Stash. And I'm Douglas with By the Brick. Welcome back to another episode of New This Week. And new this week, for Christmas week, we have nothing to do with Christmas. No. But no. we have these hats. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, first up is Batman uh, Legends of the Dark Knight, issue 50. Uh, it's graded at 9.0 and it's going for $10. Uh, this one is also Legends of the Dark Knight, but this is a Halloween special. Nightmare Before Christmas. We'll go with that since it's Christmas today. But um, this one's graded at a 8.5 and going for 10 bucks. Here we have Gen 13. This is the first appearance of... Oh, no, I'm sorry. This isn't the first appearance. This is the number one, but it's actually the uh, first pub published uh, cover art by Campbell, Scott Campbell. And this one's graded at a 9.2... And going for ten dollars. Ten dollars. Now this is the first appearance of Gen Thirteen. This is uh, Image Deathmate Black Issue, and this is graded a nine point oh, maybe a nine point two, and this one's going for ten dollars as well. Uh, here we have Spawn Number Nine by Image. Oh yeah. And this is the first appearance of Angela, and this one's going for ten dollars as well. Here we have Amazing Spider-Man 365. It's the 30th anniversary special. Um, it is the first appearance of Amazing Spider-Man 2099. And this one's graded at a 9.2, maybe even a 9.4. It's in pretty good condition. And that one's only going for $10. And last up for these is X-Force number one. Uh, technically, they're saying the with this book that they came with different trading cards, but they're saying that with the one that came with the Deadpool card is actually considered the second appearance of Deadpool. So they actually did came up with that like a month, maybe two months ago. I thought that was kind of funny. Probably because it came with the comic book, so it's kind of a package deal. Yeah, kind of. It's not really in the comic book. It's weird. It really is. But uh, next up, this book is graded in a 9.8. This is Action Comic 1000. Uh, this is actually limited to 250 copies. This is uh, number 222. Isn't that specific cover that was, that specific variant? It's, it's just one of the many variants. There's yeah. so many variants, it's ridiculous. But they don't, yeah, there was a lot of the variants, you know, they made 100, 200, 300, 400, thousands copies. But this one's only limited to, what, 250. So it's pretty pretty nice book, excellent condition. Created by CBCS. And here we have issue 362. This has an appearance of Venom, Carnage, and the Human Torch in it. Um, this is graded a 9.6 and going for $45. Pretty sweet cover. Very sweet. Yeah. But uh, that is it in comics, and we're now going to head on over to Legos. And new this week in Lego, first up, we have... Well, out of the big figure category, we have Hulk with black hair and dark purple pants with the Avengers logo. The Incredible Hulk. That just came from one of the Hulk Smash sets. That's going for fifteen twenty one. Expensive Hulk. Next up, also from the same set, Scarlet Witch, who has the, possibly that new series coming. Oh. And that's going for five sixty six. After that, we have Spider-Man. Best figure. Yeah, we come across a lot of these. Because they're the best. And because they're the best, they're probably the most played with. <laughs> and, well, we always get faded faces on them. Because they're the best. Out of, like, all the Legos we ever get in, those are always the ones that have, like, the faded face. Spider-Man. I don't know why. But, yeah, that's going for two sixty-five. It's no good. Apparently, no. it's not very sought after. I'm not a Spider-Man. Next up, we have Captain the Jack Sparrow, the I like Jack Sparrow. skeleton version. I like skeleton version. And that is going for four forty six. Next up, also Jack Sparrow, Captain Jack Sparrow. That's right. That's it. That's all it's called. <laughs> and that is going for four fifty six. Did you guys hear that? Ten cents more. We just found a Lego that had a regular name, not like Red Bandana with the brown pants with the white shirt. 
thought that was funny. Next up, we have Steve <laughs> with a helmet. Ah, uh, uh, see, see, you almost had me. Mm. Yep. Um, Steve with a helmet that is from <laughs> Minecraft. I hate you. <laughs> That's going for two fifty four. Oh, but I do have you, sir. Last up in minifigures. Oh boy, Lennox. That's it, huh? Machima. Just Lennox. No, Lennox just looks good right there. I like Captain Jack Sparrow better. That's going for one fifty-six. That's just one word. That's a cheap Lennox. One name. Lennox. I believe that's it on this week, isn't it? No, it's not. Actually, we have. We're not done. A couple new storage bricks in. Oh, those are new. Both going for seven dollars. We usually only have the square ones or like rectangle. Would you look at that? Huh. How much are those again? Seven dollars. Seven bucks, not bad. But that's not it. Something very special in. There's only special. three thousand of these made. This is number 573. It's from the San Diego Comic-Con from 2018. See uh, Han Solo from the new Solo movie, Millennium Vulcan Cockpit. Hmm. It's going for $155.56. dollars $155, huh? Nice. Only 3000 made. Pretty cool. I love San Diego, kind of kind of exclusive stuff. They actually had a new Deadpool figure. Really? It was exclusive. Did you see the uh, Stan Lee like pop they made? They made a Stan Lee pop uh, with him holding the Infinity Gauntlet. I thought that was pretty sweet. But yeah, it was a Deadpool <coughs> Sheriff. Sheriff Deadpool or something like that. Huh. I think that one's going for like 255 or something right now. I believe it. I believe it. But that is all in new this week. Wow. Well, Happy holidays, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.